what's up? Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I'm going to talk to you about femoral nerve entrapment and how to floss your femoral nerve since someone asked me to do this. So I'm going to do it. Alright, so when you think of a nerve, I want you to think of a nerve as a piece of string that is traveling through a straw. So if nothing is in that straw that is impeding the string, then that string should be moving smoothly through the straw. But say there's a piece of bubble gum in that string, now that string can get stuck. And it's kind of the same way with nerves and your body, because nerves can sometimes get entrapped by connective tissue or muscles or other various things. And then you can start getting nerve symptoms, and this can happen to your femoral nerve. So. Your femoral nerve, it has branches out of your lumbar spine and your lower back and it travels down the front of your thigh to your knee and then it has distributions down below. And when you start getting nerve symptoms, that can be things like pain, tingling, numbness and burning going down the front of your thigh to your knee and even beneath your knee. And also you can get weakness doing this motion here, hip flexion if your femoral nerve is affected and especially knee extension, straightening your knee, since the femoral nerve innervates your quadricep muscle and your quadriceps have some role in hip flexion, but especially knee extension like that. So if you're getting those pain distributions I described, if you have weakness doing hip flexion and knee extension, and this has been going on for a while and you've tried other kinds of treatments, then perhaps this nerve could be the cause of your pain and weakness. So now I'm going to show you how to floss your femoral nerve to help it move properly and hopefully that helps you out. <sighs> That's some good coffee. Alright guys, so now let me show you how to floss your femoral nerve. So you're going to get on the ground on your forearms and elbows. Make sure your pelvis does not leave the ground during the duration of this flossing movement. Okay, so on the ground, you're going to first Get into this position and bring your head up like this. And now you're gonna slowly lower your head and as you lower your head, bend your knee and bring your thigh up off the ground. Make sure your pelvis stays on the mat. And now you're gonna slowly lower your leg, bring your head up. And now you're gonna slowly lower your head, bend your knee, bring your thigh up. And now lower your leg, bring your head up. So doing this motion again and again is going to floss that femoral nerve and help to unrestrict it if it's being bound down. So one more time, lower your head, bring your thigh up. Then lower your thigh, bring your head up. And that's it. All right guys, hopefully that video on flossing your femoral nerve helped you out. This has been Jeff again, orienting your fitness in the right direction. The flow of energy, blood, neurons, prana, all the different factors that flow through the body and how we can work with mechanotherapy. This is very important, and you can learn much more of it from our books on posture and all of our books on the mechanotherapy and the chiropractic problems, working with the craniosacral and the spine. And then you can get certified and be able to do this inside your biofeedback practice, learning what to do and not to do. And that hassle is really worth the hassle. So if you study hard and learn more, here at Immune, we can help you to grow and flourish your practice.